Excuse my ratty looks in the next clip, but the stress was real and it was just time to rant. And so guys, we're in Korea. Finally made it. It's now 1.47 in the morning and we are tired. Our flight was at 5.50, but we only got here now. So super tiring, but I'm going to do a massive rant because that journey was so much more complicated and it could have been way easier like Naia airport is so bad handling we came actually quite good timing like three and a half hours before maybe even four but we still had to run to our gate because it was just so disorganized everything that they did was so just not efficient and I was just like why is this a thing? Why is this a real hassle when it could have just been handled better? I don't know if that's just me. I've never been to the EA Terminal 3 before. I don't know if it's just that terminal. But like, I was like, yo, when I come to the airport 3, 4 hours before, I have plenty of time. But the fact that I had to still run to my gate was crazy. Just queuing, lines, ugh, it's just too much. Um, but actually, when we got to Seoul, it was fine. Um, Seoul Airport is the one it's bomb it's fine got no problems with that it's just that when we arrived because it, everything got delayed um everyone else had to run for the for that flight as well everyone was trying to get on and we we ended up flying taking off late and um so our our flight arrived later to Incheon and yeah that means um all the plans that i had set was like late um, we couldn't take the bus that we wanted to take to Hongdae, so we had to take another one and it was like not a direct one and we didn't um, get off at the right stop because it, it, the stop wasn't Hongdae, it was something else and the bus driver wasn't very clear with the instructions. So we, had, we went all the way to Gangnam and we had to take a freaking taxi back to Hongdae and we just did like a whole loop when we could have just gone straight here but it was fine the Ajushi that took us in, in a taxi like drove hella fast like fast and furious and it was super cheap as well so I had no problems with that and actually the check-in here is quite easy we just literally went downstairs got it got the key typed in the password and we're here so yeah long story short all those things bothered us but big big picture big story at the end of the day is I'm here, I'm in Korea and it's been my dream for a really long time to be here so yeah I'm really excited and we're here for six days so we'll see what we have in store but day one definitely was very stressful but I'm hoping that the rest of the days it's just going to be more fruitful and better and just filled with great memories so yeah this is the start of my vlog I guess so if you want to keep on watching the rest of the video keep watching thank you Ah, but now I'm sure. Day one in Korea. Technically day two since we arrived yesterday, but day two one slash whatever, but 
We're gonna go out and explore finally. Let me show you guys our view. It's actually quite nice. Ignore that bit, but that's nice. You can see the mountains. And if you do your best, you can sort of peep Namsan at the very back. Not too bad, we're gonna head out now. Not sure how cold or hot it will be, but let's see. So on our first official day, we explored the aesthetic neighborhood of Hongdae. I purposely booked our Airbnb to be in Hongdae because it's near many amazing places to shop, to eat, and it's where all the youths hang out. You know, we walked around and there was just so much to see, and I think I spent the most amount of money on this day because I think I was just so excited to be in Seoul, but you know, looking back, I have no regrets. And you know, we continued to just go around and saw so many cool shops, so many earring shops and just so many cool places. But after that in the night time we met up with some friends and let's just say we had a lot of fun. <laughs> The next day, we started our day off by getting some breakfast from a restaurant near our place and after that, we headed to the D Museum. It's very much a modern museum, very tailored to the younger generation who come to take photos by the great art installations. Overall, it has a very aesthetic vibe and it's a very cool place to be. Me and my brother definitely got a good few pictures for our Instagrams, so that was a very good time. Hey guys, we're in the middle of nowhere. I'm trying to get to a cafe, and it's freezing. And me and John are literally just wearing t-shirts and a light jacket, and everyone else is wearing padded coats with like full-on masks and everything. And my hands are just so frozen, I don't even know what to do. But um, hopefully this cafe is worth it because we need coffee because we're sleepy, and we just need to warm up. Well, let's see, I'll take you guys there. We made 
made it to the cafe. It's actually so lit in here. Like so pretty inside and we just destroyed some food. Um, it's so nice and um, it's so warm which is the best thing ever because it's freezing outside. Um, but yeah, we finished now. I think we're gonna make our way back home, nap, and then go out again. Maybe get lit. Let's think about it. <laughs> guys so we're out again and we're gonna do a traditional tour today uh, behind us is actually the Tonggyecheon stream and um, yeah we weren't actually looking for it but we found it so yeah it's really nice we're on our way to Jogesa temple and then after that we're gonna go to the palace so we'll see how that goes see you kind of weird but it's actually they, they do some good ass um, drinks I've got the sweet potato one and it tastes exactly like almost like ube it's really nice in here um, it's just nice to get away from the cold Don't. that I'm in Korea first of all is like super <sighs> surprising to me to have been dreaming about it since 2008 when I first got into Korean culture and stuff like that so yeah it's just super weird and the fact that I'm like walking by the actual palace and everything is just like no but it's okay I'm so happy it's literally so beautiful here you see the mountain and 
It's just so peaceful. So nice. So it's our day five in Seoul and as always we start off our day with some food. We had breakfast at Isaac's Toast and afterwards we headed to one of the coolest and considered richest neighborhoods in Seoul which is Gangnam. <laughs> Located in Gangnam is the Coex Mall. We happened to um, run into this event, which apparently EXO were meant to be showing up at. But we didn't really go there for them, but instead we were here for this. The Starfield Library. Hands down, the prettiest library I've ever been to. After going to Gangnam, we headed to Myeongdong. And the street food there is something else. To this day, I swear, I still dream about the amazing food I had there. And of course, not to mention, I broke my bank here again. Of course. <laughs> It's day six. On this day, we went to Iwa University, and I am so jealous of the students who go here because their campus is so picturesque. Although they probably hate us tourists for invading, but nonetheless, it's a must visit place if you come to Seoul. Yeah. 
this morning. So at the moment we are in TDP where Seoul Fashion Week is held. We've actually already gone to Iwa where that famous like little dip. I don't know what you call it. I don't know if there's an official name, but we went there, took loads of Instagram pics and we went to K Star Road 101 or something like that um, by L Cube and their clothes are so cheap. I literally think I broke my bank again, even though I broke it every single day that we go out. But here we are in DDP and honestly, it's so pretty. I feel like a Korean model, but I know I'm not. But Insta game is strong. I'm gonna say that I'm pretty much sorted in terms of that, but yeah. We're on our way to Namsan Tower next. We're trying to get it in sunset, so I'll see you guys there. I know I said in the last clip that we would go to Namsan, but on that particular day, we were just so tired. We've just done so much that whole day, so we opted to just go back to Myeongdong to have some more street food, and at night time, we went to Hongdae and um, to see all the cool stuff that's happening there and also just to go out with friends to commemorate our last night in Seoul. Sadly, today is the last day of our trip in Seoul, South Korea. We packed up all our stuff and here you are, you can see me doing a quick room tour of our Airbnb in Hongdae. And after that, we locked up our luggages in the subway for safekeeping and we headed out to explore Seoul one last time. The last two places we went to see for the day was the Bukchon Hanok village which you'll see in a minute and later on you'll see that we finally made it uh, to our trip to Namsa.
guys, we're at Namsan. Um, this is kind of our last stop um, in Korea. And after this, we're gonna eat and head to the airport. But Korea's been so amazing, and I've just kind of made it my resolution that I'm gonna be back every year. So I'm not gonna be sad that I'm going because I know I'll be back. But yeah, thank you, Seoul. It's a nice introduction to you. You spent my money, broke my bank but I've loved every piece of you, so thank you, and I'll see you next year, I guess. Here you can see that we finally made it to the airport, and we had our last meal, and we're heading back to Manila. This experience has been a dream come true. I'm so grateful that finally, after 11 years of dreaming, I actually made it to Seoul. So praise God for the amazing memories I've made. And with that, see you next time, Seoul. <laughs>